Joining us now is Elizabeth Pipko, spokesperson for the Republican National Committee. Elizabeth, there's so much. I mean, these are just the scripted events. These are the ones that he's practiced for. These are the ones he's prepared for. I, I don't know how the Trump administration or the Trump uh, uh, camp or the RNC or the, how do you respond to somebody who claims to be the first black woman to serve with a black president? Uh, look, nothing really prepares you for that, right? I was listening to your intro here, trying not to laugh. Um, honestly, my heart goes out not just to Joe Biden, who is clearly not fit for this job or for running for president. My heart goes out to the American people, right? I mean, they're watching this, learning that they've been lied to for nearly four years now by this administration, by Joe Biden and by their Democrat leaders. They're learning that they're actually not the priority, right, for the next four months. We know the only priority is going to be beating Donald Trump, not serving the American people. And I think that it's time that they wake up, right? It's time that we use this as a lesson and the American people realize that they deserve so much better than this. Obviously, voting for President Trump is the first way to reverse this in November, but I think realizing that the power belongs to the people and not to those in power who have literally been lying to the American people for nearly four years now about who has been in charge of this White yeah. House and have so many things to answer for. Elizabeth, uh, we saw a, a short clip from the George Stephanopoulos interview on ABC. What's your reaction to what the president said there? Because he wasn't quite sure whether or not he'd watched a replay of the debate or not. A hard-hitting question. I don't even know what's worse, not being sure if you watched yourself uh, in the replay or having to sit in front of the American public and say that you performed the way that you did because you had a cold or because you were tired. I'd like to imagine him sitting face to face with the families of the Americans still held hostage in Gaza now for nearly nine months and telling them that he's tired. Right. I mean, it's absolutely disgraceful. It is the opposite of what we deserve as a country. And I, I cannot imagine truly where the Democrats go from here. They've backed themselves up in quite a corner and they, I don't think, have anywhere to go from here. Elizabeth, thank you for joining us tonight on The Inger Mangle. Do appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.